Hello everyone. Do the Russians want the war? Do they support the war? Let's just figure out it. Because Russians, uh, like everyone else, everywhere, we are global humanity, economically, politically, in, and humanitarianly. My name is Elena, and I am from Vancouver. I'm Ukrainian Canadian. And in this video, I, I, I hope that we can talk about it. We can talk about peace, freedom of speech, about democracy and better humanity tomorrow. I hope that um, my video found you because it's so difficult now to uh, find at least one friend, the one who presses, okay, I want to watch this video. Uh, for me, it's maybe I can understand more about it, not because I'm smarter. No, no, I'm not. I'm just, you know, like everyone else. Because I lived in Soviet Union until I was 29 and I moved from Kiev, Ukraine in 1991. So I, I can understand the mentality, the philosophy um, that is behind or um, the foundation of Soviet thinking and so forth. Because what's going on now is, is horror, horrific, bloody war that Putin regime put on Ukraine and on all the, er the earth. So my question is, uh, do the Russians, the regular Russians want the war? When, you know, when it's hypothetically, when it's just in general, if you ask any Russian person, they will say, no, we don't want the war. But then when you ask no, more about it, you want to know more of it. Because when you just ask, do you want the war? Of course I don't want the war. Because we know all that it's destruction, it's, it's killing of life, it's not good. Everyone knows it. But um, let's just be more particular. What do you do for peace? How do you support peace? And how you as a person, and me as a person, and Russians as people in Putin's um, Russia, or Russian-speaking people around the world, because there are wounded Russian-speaking people around the world, new immigrants from Ukraine that uh, saved their children from bombs. And don't forget that today children die in Ukraine from Russian bombs, from Putin's bombs. There are immigrants from Chechnya that uh, Russians, Russian Putin's army did exactly the same as they're doing now in Chechnya or Syria, exactly the same pattern. There are immigrants from Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, from all the 15 so-called brotherhood from Soviet Union, from I escaped from, from there, on, on, a, on just the, the curtain, the Iron Curtain opened a bit and I, I escaped in 1991 because I, I did not support Soviet regime uh, as a young person too. So all of us Russian speaking people around the world and particular Russians in Putin's Russia right now, we have different, if you start to examine us, if you ask to, uh, to, to ask more questions, not just their rhetorical questions, do, do you want the war? Of course, everyone will say no. But when you ask uh, more about it, what do you do? What, what does it mean to you? For most of us, for Russian speaking people, all over the world, I guess, I just guess, I don't know, I will have to ask you to leave comment, but I guess that 100% people will answer next question, do you support Putin's regime, will say no. If you ask more questions, like, um, do you support Putin's war in Ukraine, they say no. If you ask, did you see bombs every day? Did you, do you see what happening in Ukraine? Because it is obvious, everyone has a phone, everyone can document, there are millions of witnesses right now. 
people say, yes, I know what's going on in, in Ukraine. I have independent view because I saw documentation of it and I don't support it. Most of Russian speaking people will say it around the world. However, it's very difficult for any, <laughs> anyone to uh, drive to every country or fly to every country or nurse and find out Russian speaking people, gather them together and start to interview. It's impossible because there are millions of Russian speaking people all around the globe. It's impossible. However, it is possible to go where only Russians live. Because like France, uh, Norway, Canada, US, we live among other peaceful people. We are Russian speaking. I am Russian slash Ukrainian speaking. I speak fluent Ukrainian and fluent Russian. Because in Soviet Union, maybe you don't know, Ukrainian language was not really allowed. So I speak both. I even speak Polish because my, my, my roots are Polish too. However, it is impossible to gather all, all Russian people because Russians, like other, other people uh, in free countries, have their freedom, have their free life and, and are not afraid to express opinion. But it's easy to, to see when only Russian lives. It's easier. It's not easy, of course, you cannot ask every one of uh, one, 144 million uh, people who live in Russia, although Russia now is huge. You cannot do it. But it's, uh, it's easier than abroad. You understand my, my point. So uh, correspondents keep asking from 24th of February 2022, keep asking in Russia, do you support the war? All people say, no, I don't, I, I'm, they even don't say the sentence, I, I'm against the war, because they are not allowed to say the word, word, war. So they say, I support peace, because this is allowed. Okay, fine. Let's just figure out what is peace for you. So when you ask, next question, any generation, young or old, do you support war in Ukraine? 75% of people, I even lose my voice. It's, it's hard to understand, it's hard to comprehend, it's hard to say, 75% say yes. Then you ask another question. Do you support Putin's um, politics? They say yes, entirely. They don't just say yes. They say entirely support, and I think that's what they say. Anyways, okay, now, what, what can we do about it? Like today, from today, uh, there's not much freedom of speech in uh, Russia. So I presume that some of those people are scared to say what they really think, because there's no freedom of speech. And yes, uh, th this is a country of aggression. But I have uh, pity for them. I, I, I understand it because I grew up in Soviet Union where there was no freedom of speech. And I am compassionate about it. But you know what? It is still minority. It is still maybe 20% are afraid. Another 50% of population, population in Russia say it sincerely, that they uh, uh, agree with what Putin does to the whole world, and particularly right now we see it in Ukraine. So if you don't want that the whole world will see what we see now in Ukraine, we have to support Ukrainian efforts. We have to do whatever we can. Some of us can find nearest embassy of Ukraine in your country and um, give some money if you, if you can give some money. Little is, is big. This, this is why even little. Or you can have a YouTube channel like me, regular people helping the world to see the truth. You can do any, many things, many things. 
if you are like my daughter, she is doing um, Doctors Beyond the Borders, um, Red Cross organization where she um, consulta does consultations uh, for Ukrainians in Ukraine because she's a Canadian doctor. You can do something like my son, he sends the money. He is a resident doctor in Vancouver, so he sends the money, whatever he has to support. You can do anything that is um, right for you. And let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let's figure it out. And from today, um, what can we do today for peace? Hope to see you tomorrow, and bye for now.